Hi, Tim Hartman here. I'm in my workshop today. Uh, so we're kind of using the on-camera mic. It doesn't sound quite as good, but um, I didn't want to do soldering and microphones all in the same vicinity. Let's talk about a couple of tips that I think will make your soldering much easier. The first thing is to get the right solder. The stuff I have here is 60-40, which is 60% tin, 40% lead. Um, they do make it the other way around, so get the right stuff. 60-40. And then uh, it is flux core, which to me is much easier to use and uh, make your soldering life much easier. If you're worried about lead residue or fumes, you can make sure you scrub your hands after using it, or you can use a fume extractor as well. The final thing that I want or tip that I want to give you is to buy a small diameter solder. This is a 0 0.032 diameter. And the good thing about small diameter solder is that it melts more quickly because it's a smaller amount of solder. And the the best part is that you're not globbing big chunks on. The, the heavy solder, uh, when you melt it, puts a big old chunk of solder on your uh, connection or your wire. And so then it's, it's messy to work with and that kind of thing. So uh, what we're going to do here, let me zoom out and I'll talk briefly about my soldering iron which is a, um, it's a Weller um, SPL40L. I'll put a little title down there in case you want to buy that one. I don't know if they still make it, but it's a good little iron, but it's not temperature controlled or it's not fancy. I think it's less than $20 at Home Depot. Plugs right into my uh, plug strip um, over here. And uh, so it works, it works just fine. I don't have any problems with it. I think the solder really is the most important part of soldering. So here we go. Uh, it does need to get hot enough, by the way, so make sure you get something that's hot enough. We'll talk about that in a second. I'll go ahead and strip this wire, and what we're going to do is we're going to simply splice some wire together, uh, kind of as a demonstration. This in real, in no way <laughs> resembles real life, because uh, we're making a loop. So uh, with Stranded, I try to twist it together to kind of keep things neat and clean. There we go. And then, uh, so I don't have any stray pieces sticking out. And then uh, we'll just twist those two stranded conductors together there. And try to make sure we don't have anything uh, sticking out too much. You can, I recommend putting shrink tube over anything that you're splicing. I think that works the best um, out of anything that I've tried. All right, let's zoom in here so we can look at our connection. Autofocus is having trouble. There we go. Okay, so we're going to get our iron out here. And uh, when you go to tin your, the tip of your iron, because you do need to tin the tip of your iron, your solder should melt immediately. If your solder doesn't melt right away, then your iron's not hot enough. So get quite a bit of uh, solder on the end of your iron. And the reason for that is that we need that solder as a conduit to transfer heat onto our copper because uh, we need to get the wire hot. So now that it's on there and I'm holding it a bit, I'll just add a little bit of solder right there between the edge of the iron and the copper. And it'll melt on and it'll help transfer that heat. Now, now that this copper is getting hot, I can come out here and add some solder where the tip of the iron's not because you can see that the wire is getting hot enough for me to add the solder on there. And when I do that, it should just flow right in. The copper will suck it right up and I'll take the, the tip of the iron off, put my iron back, and as you can see, it's flowed all the way around the connection. That's how it should look. If your connection is kind of dull looking, then probably your iron's not hot enough or your copper's not hot enough and you're not flowing the solder on there and um, you're not gonna have a good connection. So that's important, get the wire hot enough and um, get the solder to flow on the copper. Copper will just suck that right up uh, into its strands. So that's it. I hope that was a helpful tip for you about soldering. Oh, and for our UK friends, um, this has been a video about soldering.